my dear students of class 3 today i'm going to take your value education class so please take out your value education book in a circle and open at page 25 that is chapter 5 now what is the name of the story yes the name of the story is the mother bird and her young ones so this is a story of a bird and her young ones please listen to the story carefully so that you can understand the moral values hidden in this story so are you ready children yes the story begins like this a mother bird made her nest in a wheat field nest you know a structure or place made or chosen by a bird for laying eggs and sheltering its young so where did the mother bird make her nest the mother bird made her nest in a wheat field wheat is a cereal grain from which we get white flour used chiefly in bread baked goods such as cakes and pastas and is important in animal feeds the bird laid three eggs and patiently waited for them to hatch to hatch means to produce young from an egg by applying heat followed okay within a few days the young birds came out of the eggs how many eggs were there yes there were three eggs the young birds were completely means fully or entirely dependent on their mother for what for food for shelter and protection very much natural we also depend on our mother for many things when we are young now the mother bird had to go to collect food for the young ones so she told them every morning i'll go out to bring food for all of us the field is quiet and we are safe from our enemies in case you hear someone coming sit quietly and do not make any noise let me know what happened when i'm back so it was the advice of the mother bird for her children the young birds listened carefully and nodded means moved their heads obediently days passed and no one visited the wheat field no one came over there the wheat stalks became taller the young birds also grew up with each passing day so what was the daily routine the mother bird went out to bring food for them and came back in the evening so in this way the days were passing one day the young birds heard something what did they hear they heard the voice of the farmer casually speaking to his son in the field casually means in a relaxed or informal way dear son the wheat stalks are ripe we need to harvest them he said harvest is the process or period of gathering in crops the young birds remembered what their mother had told them and they sat quietly without making any noise whom did they wait for they waited for their mother to return means to come back in the evening when the mother bird heard her young ones what did she say she told them not to worry not to get anxious they will be safe nothing will happen they can still wait as within a few days they will be able to fly but the young birds were scared means they got 
afraid. They were not quite impressed or convinced. They were certain, they were sure that the farmer would start reaping, means cutting the crop soon. Three days later, means after three days, they heard the farmer speaking once again to his son. This time what did he say? He decided to reap the wheat grains in the next two or three days. He also decided to call their friends and relatives to help them. When the mother bird returned, the young birds again told her what had happened. They thought soon they would lose their shelter. But the mother bird smiled. What did she say? Do you know children? She said, do not worry children. Now that the farmer has said that he is going to wait for his friends and relatives, we still have time. Very soon you will learn how to fly and we can escape. So, the mother bird told the young birds not to worry because the farmer was going to wait for his friends and relatives for help and by that time they would be able to fly. But again the young birds were quite worried and tensed. Every morning when their mother left, they were terrified. What will we do if the farmer starts reaping today? They would discuss among themselves. But did anything happen? No, nothing happened. A week later means after a week, the young birds learned how to fly short distances. But they still loved their cozy means comfortable nest and preferred to stay in the wheat field. The wheat stalks were nearly dry and grains of wheat flew freely above their heads when the wind blew. So the wheat field was their favorite place and they liked to stay there. Within a few days, the farmer and his son returned to the field. The farmer said to his son, We need to do our duty ourselves. We need to reap our harvest. Otherwise, we will lose a lot of wheat. Let us come early in the morning tomorrow and start harvesting the wheat. So what did the farmer tell his son? He told him that they would not depend on anyone else. They would do their work themselves from next morning. Again the young birds informed their mother all these things in the evening. She told her children that she was sure that the farmer would come tomorrow with his son. It was time for them to move somewhere else. So they would start early next morning and move to a safe place nearby. The young birds had learned how to fly by then and they all agreed. Now one of the birds asked, How are you so sure that this time they would come, mom? It was a very good question from one of the young birds because so far the mother bird assured them by saying that she was sure that nobody would come to harvest the field. Now she is saying that the farmer and his son are sure to come to the field for harvesting. So the young birds were very curious to know the reason behind their mother's conclusion that this time the farmer would come with his son. The mother bird replied, 
I am going to tell you a little secret about human beings. When they depend on others for their work, their work gets delayed. The moment they decide to do their duties on their own, their work surely gets done. So I hope you have understood that this is the moral of the story that we must learn. We should not depend on anyone else for anything. We should do our duties on our own. Yes, yes. The birds told their mother that they wanted to see whether the farmer really came. So, they were curious to know whether their mother was right. They waited in hiding in a tree nearby. So, they kept watching from a nearby tree. True to their mother bird's words, the farmer and his son brought sickles and started harvesting the field. So, they really came to harvest the field proving the mother bird true. The young birds understood that their mother said something very true. The birds moved to a safer place. They were happy. Why? Because they could spend such a good time in the cozy field. So this was the story. I hope you enjoyed it. Now what did you learn from the story? What did you learn from the story? We learned from the story that we must do our duties on our own. If we unnecessarily or without any reason depend on others, our work will only get delayed. In some cases, it may not even get done in the end. I'd like to repeat, we learned from the story that we must do our duties on our own. If we unnecessarily or without any reason depend on others, our work will only get delayed. In some cases, it may not even get done in the end. Now, let us discuss some questions and answers from the story, The Mother Bird and Her Young Ones. Answer the following questions. Answer the following questions. Number 1. Why was the mother bird initially sure that the field would not be harvested? Why was the mother bird initially sure that the field would not be harvested? So what will be the answer? The mother bird was initially sure that the field would not be harvested because the farmer had decided to call his friends and relatives to help them. I repeat, the mother bird was initially sure that the field would not be harvested because the farmer had decided to call his friends and relatives to help them. Number 2. When did the mother bird decide to shift somewhere else? When did the mother bird decide to shift somewhere else? The mother bird decided to shift somewhere else when she came to know that the farmer and his son would harvest the wheat field themselves. I'd like to repeat, the mother bird decided to shift somewhere else when she came to know that the farmer and his son would harvest the wheat field themselves. Now, next one. Did the farmer's friends and relatives come for their help in the end? 
did the farmers friends and relatives come for their help in the end how did they reap the harvest you know the answer very well no the farmers friends and relatives did not come for their help no the farmers friends and relatives did not come for their help the farmer and his son brought sickles and started harvesting the field themselves the farmer and his son brought sickles and started harvesting the field themselves now last one what did you learn from the story the mother bird and her young ones what did you learn from the story the mother bird and her young ones we learned from the story the mother bird and her young ones that we must do our duties on our own if we unnecessarily depend on others our work will only get delayed in some cases it may not even get done in the end i repeat we learned from the story the mother bird and her young ones that we must do our duties on our own if we unnecessarily depend on others our work will only get delayed in some cases it may not even get done in the end now next one answer the following questions briefly answer the following questions briefly question 1 where did the mother bird make her nest where did the mother bird make her nest the mother bird made her nest in a wheat field very easy the mother bird made her nest in a wheat field question number 2 When did the mother bird go out to bring food? When did the mother bird go out to bring food? The mother bird went out every morning to bring food. The mother bird went out every morning to bring food. Now question number 3 Who came to harvest the field? Who came to harvest the field? Easy one. The farmer and his son came to harvest the field. The farmer and his son came to harvest the field. Now question number 4 where did the birds move? Where did the birds move? The birds moved to a safer place. The birds moved to a safer place. Now I'd like to give you some objective type questions that you must do on your own. Answer the following in one word. Answer the following in one word. Number 1, a mother bird made it in a wheat field. A mother bird made it in a wheat field. Number 2, The mother bird patiently waited for them to hatch. The mother bird patiently waited for them to hatch. Number 3 The farmer and his son harvested the field with this tool. The farmer and his son harvested the field with this tool number 4 the mother bird went out every morning to bring it the mother bird went out every morning to bring it now next one write whether the following sentences are true or false write whether the following sentences are true or false number 
The mother bird laid four eggs. The mother bird laid four eggs. Number two, we should not depend on others. We should not depend on others. Number three, the paddy field was quiet and the birds were safe from enemies. The paddy field was quiet and the birds were safe from enemies. Number four, the farmer finally reached the wheat field only when he decided to do it on his own. Number four, the farmer finally reaped the wheat field only when he decided to do it on his own. The farmer finally reaped the wheat field only when he decided to do it on his own. Now last one, fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks. Number one, the young birds loved their dash nest. The young birds loved their dash nest. Number two, the farmer decided to call dash and dash to help him. The farmer decided to call dash and dash to help him. Number three, we must do our dash on our own. We must do our dash on our own. Number four, the farmer and his son brought dash for harvesting the field. The farmer and his son brought dash for harvesting the field. So children, I hope you would love to do all these exercises from this interesting story. Take care. Thank you.